Oh, this is Mr. Quackwack, and today I am back on the Rivercraft server to continue making progress. Today my goal is to try to get some villager stuff working. So, yeah, if I go like walk inside of these places here, I got a villager here. Uh, no villager in that one, but then a villager there. Two villagers in there. We got a couple of villagers here, so. So then that will also make it possible for me to build an iron farm this episode, hopefully. So. Let's see. I think I'm going to try to build a, the villager breeder a little bit farther away from him. I'm a little farther away from my base. Like. Maybe always out here. Just so then we don't have any uh, problems with the training hall or anything. So iron farm. Well, you can go free camera. Iron farm might be on top of this mountain. On top of this mountain would be a genius place, wouldn't it? Get really high up. That'd be actually a good spot, I'd say. So, let's see. Let's mark where I want the villager breeder to be. Kind of mark it by starting to get a little hole here. So this is where the villager breeder is gonna go. So I'll go build one. Yeah. And there we go. It's all built here. This was designed by Logical Geek Boy, which I'll leave a link in the description for where to find the video for it. So, so far, like, yeah, there's a decent amount of villagers here. A few more here. Just give me decent amount of villagers to, like, build an iron farm. Or make villager training hall. But an iron farm, I think, is going to be something you do next, probably. Probably going to try to build it, like, somewhere around here. Roughly, so that's always running while I'm in my base here. But also, it has to be far enough away, so it doesn't interfere with my villager training hall. Like... Maybe right up on top of here, I don't know. But, like, somewhere around here I'll try to build it. Which I already have some resources for. All I need is the blocks now, which I can get fairly quickly. Like, I'll just head into my base right here. So, we'll just run down. There we go. Running on down. And this chest. That is all the things I need besides blocks and I just need to grab there like six stacks of blocks and I change some of them into other stuff like walls and stairs and okay and now I'm back here and the iron farm is complete right here this iron farm was designed by Watchels and I'll put a link in the description so if you want to build it for yourself you can so I'll put a link in the description for the video. So yeah, it's very simple. I just have a here instead of a zombie. It works just as well. Three villagers. And then it spawns our golems here. Goes down and dies. If you look at my inventory, this is roughly the amount of iron I've got. Probably got a little bit more because, well, here's four more and then got enough to actually get full iron armor, finally. There's some people on the server that actually have, um, Full diamond currently. Yeah, full diamond. And yeah, I don't have that yet. <laughs> Much I'm completely fine with that. Uh, yeah, I'm heading down here. Alright, you see this little kind of basin little area here? Do I think would look work good in this area? A lake. I want to make a lake right here. It would, like if I just start by... Flood in this little area. Very simple. We can just get water, water, grab. It. This really is actually kind of simple to do. Oh yeah, look at that. And then we can just go slowly place it along like this. Okay, I'm slowly just making a lake here. Look at how quickly this is starting to go. Well, now since I started doing it, I kind of have to go with it, so. 
And, well, I have to finish off this top area. Or bottom area. We can pick one side or the other up to do it. There we go. We got one layer done here. That was actually really easy. And I get to repeat that again to keep doing it. So, we'll just do a time lapse of it. Of me making this. And we'll be back. Okay, so there we go. I made this little lake right here. I'd say it's a decent size here. Like, it goes pretty deep down, I'd say. Like, it's deep in some of the rivers in this game. So, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good lake right here. And during that time, my iron farm was running. So let's go check out the amount of iron that's in it now. I think it's going to be a decent amount right there. And it's right over here. And sometimes there's iron that drops out over here. Not enough for it to be a big deal. But, yeah, but it does drop out there. It could easily be another stack here. Oh, stack and seven. Awesome. It's like, it's just nice having infinite iron. So now that basically means that, well, I can make better infrastructure for my village system. My villager system here. Because currently, like, I'm not going to go and do the zombification process yet for them. Because, well, that requires gold. Golden apples, and I don't have that kind of stuff yet. And I don't have good potion in brewing yet. So, yeah, I'm just going to make it not as complex. It's so basically right here. This is the 
Yeah, that's a lot of villagers there. I completely turned it off because I because it's getting too many here. It's basically here. Minecart goes up, grab someone and I can probably just go take it straight back down and underground to run it over to an area like in here. I think it's time that I try to get like a mending villager or something. So, so yeah, I need to get some other stuff, of course. Uh, if I just start walking over here, yeah, I got bamboo that gives me tons of M's, which is really good. So I'm gonna run down here, and and well, let's see. What, one has all my sandstone. I don't have no sand. No, I have a bit of sandstone. This is just gonna work good as a good way to get the villagers into the entire area. So now I get some rails. Cause yeah, rails are good. And yeah, I have enough cobblestone to do some stuff. That would be good. So now if I come over back over by where the builder breeder is, we can start making a better system than what's there currently. Or we could just start digging it straight down like this, boom. No, wait. Uh, no, we can't turn it like that. That's not good. We can't turn it like that. We're going to have to get all the way down to the ground. Come down. And we can take a turn like this. So, break a few more blocks here. So I can just... Yeah, it's all there. Whatever. That's how it is. Get here. Start turning it. And we can head down underground now. Which of course, we need to get a little ways under, of course. For me, because these are transparent, I can just kind of do this a little ways. That means I can just take a minecart and go straight through it. Like, I'll just show you right now. So, if I place a minecart, I get in. It can bring me straight down through it, which is nice. Okay, so now I have some uh, villagers here. So, like, I had these here earlier, but recently I got this one here. I just forced to try and try to get some diamond armor there. Here, thorns three, 16 emeralds, and breaking three, 30. Uh, protection four, 31. That's pretty good. Silk touch, seven. I already got that on my diamond pick, which is in storage. Right? So, now mending 14. That is just awesome. So, I need some more bamboo here before I can go get my mending there. But, <clears throat> probably not going to get it in this episode any anyway. And there's a creeper right there. We're closing that door. That would have been bad if he noticed me. Yeesh, this is why I need it. It's secondary exit. I can't leave until he gets out of there. And that out, that works. So, yeah, I need to. Um, well. Okay, so there we go. So, this episode I got a lot done. I got a working iron farm. I was able to get a villager breeder working there. And I was able to start getting some villager trades. So. This is Mr. Quack Quack, and until next time, goodbye.